Um, Kobe. Come on, dude. Really? Every single time. This makes a lot of you here. Just walk away. I don't know where this guy is. <laughs> Don't call me an asshole. <clears throat> this dude yeah. bro's talking like mad shit I don't even know where you are. Just my Like, I'm trying to figure out how to fucking do this, like, thing. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's actually check the area first.
You yeah, have no idea what I just did. Honestly, that kind of sounds like normally what happens. back on our way. Oh, this is... I thought this had something. That's why it was, like, shiny. That's so dumb. But yeah, let us actually do what I wanted to do in the first place and actually go and do things. Definitely was not expecting the spider. But I mean, it's in a church, it makes sense. Hey, watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Sorry. Hey, bro. Five years of learning and all for nothing. Easy money. Hallie, I just me. have to get it Easy right enough. this time. Believe me, Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. Basco. Basco. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Craftmaster? Okay, well, what's a craftmaster first off? Hey, what's a craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. Okay, so what's this test about? What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Okay, well, so what's the problem? So, what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah. Something much more interesting. You'll see, as far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Okay. Well, I have the parts you need. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic! Heaven must have sent you! 
Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then. Near the wall. Okay. Well, that was straightforward. Man, I'm so thirsty. Aiden, how's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Uh, I've been here and there. You know, the best part is always happening in the center. And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. All right. There we go. So that's on. Well, how the fuck do I get up there? I'm not an opera fan, but I do appreciate some classy carnage. I wonder if we'll see anyone as possible. Well, I guess we gotta go and Altair this shit. Who's ready for some long-term scaling? Woo! Honestly, I always like it when, like, games that have, like, a parkour system actually, like, have you utilize it. I don't know why I'm having issues, like, speaking right now. Maybe it's because I haven't eaten today. Or at least I haven't eaten much today. Oh, perfect. It's right actually over here. So I don't have to go. Wait. Is it right here? Oh, it is. How can it be? Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. You. I'm such an idiot. What happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very. It has big, huge. You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. That's not a bad idea. The brave idea. goat gave its life to science. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, a... Uh, a... a... Uh, Craftmaster? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. Yay. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just, uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. No worries, friend. Jesus. Well. Weapon modifications. To install a weapon mod, you have to have the blueprint for it. Any required craft parts and the right weapon. Check the number of mod slots on the weapon. Icon, the best weapons have three slots available, grip, shaft, and tip. Mm. There's a lot of things that could be said that could be taken out of context and for other reasons on that one. But sure, let's go with that. Totally nothing wrong with that. Different mods fit into different slots. Shocker. Now, go to the inventory, choose the right weapon, and press C to modify it. Alright. So what was the other because hold on, let me see here. So we can't do that, obviously. Alright. Go for that. Alright, so let's actually go to the craft Craft masters will trade in blueprints and resources for crafting consumables, weapon mods, and more. 
blueprints can be upgraded with cash and resources scavenged from city or looted from defeated enemies. Craftmasters can craft weapons if you provide a weapon blueprint. These weapons automatically rank up to match your current player rank. Upgrading weapons blueprints increases the number of affixes, mod slots, and durability. Craftmasters craft can repair weapons. They won't work for free and you'll have to supply the craft parts. Yeah. I have everything you need. Okay, upgrades. What a choice! Yeah, I'm fine with that. Cuz, I- oh, I can't sell here. So it's increasing the durability. I was gonna say, like, you're telling me I can't? <laughs> Uh, upgrade. Right, I'm broke. I forgot about that. Yep, I'm broke. You, you, to you really think so? so Vera has a real problem, but we can't avoid that. Holy shit, sell all valuables. I am now rich. <laughs> Eleven thousand. God damn. I'll keep these. Mm hmm. me or are you allergic to making money listen pilgrim we can make a killing you and me you just need to get me some beets radishes parsnips there he is grab him Ed. he's a murderer what julian luke's been poisoned from the water you sold him devon says what but i don't sell water liar luke told me he got it from you whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now you sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? So, what's your proof, though? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Yeah, honestly. Of course! The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! Uh find something you like in the bazaar? Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. Maybe this is revenge? So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Yeah, it would be definitely hard. Used to watch like, so what else am I gonna do? In the old days. But anyway! Now I couldn't name a single one. I think because we have literally wasted so much time in terms of us doing just random shit, I think we should actually get started on doing the actual mission itself. What are you even thinking? I've never seen someone botch a job so badly in my life. I thought 
I've never seen somebody butch a job so badly in my life. Is it? Oh, I guess I guess I have to actually be on the rooftops. That's fine. They do make it easy to get there, though. So um, it's nice of that. Okay. I like the fact that uh, he is putting in imaginary food. Parkour challenge. I keep What's telling this? everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Reach all checkpoints. Listen. At least three falls amortized by a roll. Uh, sure. Why not? Wait, where do I have to go for this though? Okay, apparently me hitting the button doesn't... actually do anything. Sure. One. That was easy. Anyway, let's actually continue on what we were going to do. Go over to the metro. Yo. Hakon. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. And what about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof, you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. Okay. So they run the city? So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Okay, well, what's next, then? So, wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. So we can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main right. station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Oh, okay. Well, looks like this is going to be a night mission, then. That's fine. <clears throat> huh? Hakon, there's a creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them, but catching one requires serious hunting skills. 
Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. All right. So, in this case, what I'm thinking we're going to do in this case, we're actually going to call it now. Uh, next time, we're actually going to continue the story and go into the Metro's tunnels because, let's be face it, it is the next thing that we got to do and we might as well get that done. But, with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care.